What is up, mother Um, so today we are back at the shop. Got the Wago, the sedan. Hopefully the truck's gonna be here today or in the next couple days. I took it out in the bush. It was great, it was beating the poop out of her. It was doing great. And then, well, this is how my fucking day is. No, wasn't doing great. I don't know if the fuel pump died or what. I'm pretty sure it was the fuel pump, but I was getting like next to no fuel. It was trickling a little bit. So like it was working, but just barely. So my dad's towing that back here for me. It's currently at my house, but um, that's gonna take a bit because I also noticed that leak. I don't remember if I showed you guys in the axle housing. Busted out there, like it was so dug out and pitted that it had a hole and it was leaking like all my fucking juices. So that being dealt with, truck's gonna come here, we're gonna do that. Hopefully, no, not hopefully, I am. I am getting a 22RE swap, so that will be on the channel. It's gonna be super excited about this because I just want to daily my truck. I want to be able to hop in that thing, go wherever and just drive in the bush, drive it out and just not have all these weird carburetor issues that I'm just always dealing with. Cause I just, I'm not a carburetor guy. I tried to be, but fuck, I can't be. Toyota is going home. And here is the roller. Truck is out. Dad's just gonna drop it off there for me so I don't even have to do any of the work. Appreciate that so much. Um, probably gonna go there next couple days, start doing the axle, and probably rip the motor out of it and post that up for sale. 22 RE swap. Well, here, car's up on the jack. Was driving to the shop to work on the Toyota because I need to do the rear axle and just other things, make sure I can sell this motor, make sure it's all good. Um, but then my brake got super loud and squealy, so when I got here, I checked it out. Super amount of brake dust on the fucking rim. But as you can see, it's like fucking gassy, like, like this thing's been getting dragged on. So this is like, there's not much pad there. Luckily, I have these old um, pads and fucking whatever. Anyways, so they're like brand new, these pads. They're very mint. So I'm going to clean these up a bit and sand them down, paint them, make them look nice. And yeah, we're going to do that to the car. I might cut out the, if we have welding gas, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to cut out the cat and I'll film this when it's all sanded and painted up here in a minute. So that's over there painted and drying, parts of it are there. But I'm here trying to get the old one off. This shit is so on there. Imagine how much that was slowing me down. Like holy moly. I'm gonna try to get this dent out of the back of my fucking car. Really hard to see, but it's right there. So I got glue sticks. And a torch. Make sure they're nice and warm. And just pray to God, so the fuck on the paint. I've never done this before. We hold and wait for it to fucking dry, I guess. I don't fucking know. Never done this. 
I don't think I waited long enough for it to dry, and I thought I was filming, but it wasn't. And now I just have glue in my car. So yeah, there's that. I don't know, damn, it's still there. <clears throat> so, me being me, I forgot to film 99% of that. But whatever, it wasn't that important anyways. I ran, threw some glitter at him. I haven't tried them out. Sister helped me bleed them, so that was cool. Um, so I was just throwing some stuff out, and I had all this bumper from my old sedan that I've been cutting up trying to use for stuff. And I just mopped up the bottom of it. I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of like fucking racy. You know, it's pretty fucking boxy. But it's also kind of looks decent. 